Let's talk about a RAM scraper for a second. If you think about a point of sale system, cash registers uh, with the, the, the piece of scanner thing and a central uh, server someplace, right? Uh, the point of sale system, they have, uh, you scan a credit card in. The credit card has to be read in before it's encrypted. Now, there are ways to encrypt that during the, the reading process, but most don't do that. So they scan it in, and because there's no data storage on the cash register, it gets transmitted to a server where there is data storage, so it doesn't need to be encrypted until the transmission process. So they read it in, encrypt it for the transmission, and send it out. You have two copies, an encrypted copy and a, and a, uh, a plain text copy. And the plain text copy, you can still read, and the encrypted copy will be sent, and then this goes away when they scan the next copy. Everyone see that? So what a RAM scraper does is scrapes the RAM and sends that out uh, to either an email or some that have built-in email servers that they can email themselves. Um, there are some that have a, a um, uh, F, you know, an FTP to the, to the company. Let's face it, they've already hacked into your, your company because if you think about it, they have gotten into your company so that they could put a RAM scraper inside your cash register software that gets downloaded every hour or so refreshed, right? So when you turn on the cash register, the first thing it does is go to the server and say, give me the updates, okay. You know, and so and so that's what it does. And so that's what happened to all these companies. Now, so, okay, RAM scraping code is a, um, I downloaded this from somebody, uh, but uh, um, I should have the site. Basically, you know, if you think about it, it, uh, it, it, it goes in a, you know, constantly scraping the RAM, unencrypted RAM, and sending it out. And eventually, you'll get a full credit card. So the problem with Target, with Home Depot, and lately, I guess Thursday or Wednesday or some Tuesday, Kmart, right, um, was, uh, uh, was that, uh, um, that the, the uh, scraping right here when they, when they did this, it wasn't encrypted, and and uh, you, you don't know how many people were affected. So I scanned their credit <coughs> card. I didn't store the information. They didn't hit the, the, the data storage. They they uh, hit the hit the cash registers, and so you you know you had a, a you know one million customers. You don't know how many of that one million customers actually had full records by by the time they had the cycle. They're not scanning all the time. That would be detected. So they're going slow. Um, so, so you know, you don't know how uh, how many how many were affected, and so um, it's it's not that complicated. Again, getting in is more complicated than than uh, 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 writing the code. So, getting hacking into the system, and the way they hack into the system with Target was they had a heating and air conditioning uh, company that they were using that had access to their systems, and the heating and air conditioning company used the same password for everything. And so uh, the hacker got hold of their passwords and started trying them on other systems, knowing that they had clients and stuff. And they knew, you know, because they hacked into their system, they knew they had target, you know, they had target uh, as a client, and then they used that password to get into target. And then uh, eventually got got enough of a foothold to run some programs from target. And, and, and uh, so I guess the moral there is, you can be as secure as you want to be. Not secure enough with your connections, your consultants, your partner, business partners, your supply chain. Um, you know, you can probably be as hacked just as easily as soon as they're hacked. So that's that's the uh, that's the moral there. Um, but is this? You, there's this concept of a security perimeter. Okay, what do you need to secure in your organization? Okay, and so you would look at it like. These are cash registers that I also stole from somewhere. Server that I picture that I stole from. And uh, so the the right here, this is the security perimeter of say Target. They didn't include the security perimeter of anything that didn't have permanent storage in it, and they should have, or very light. Uh, so they needed to expand it and be just as rigorous. Uh, security perimeter expanded. It's costly to do. Uh, 
so um, that's something that uh, um, that you want to do. This uh, whole thing could have been eliminated if you encrypted that cash register level, just like you do on the piece of scanning uh, level that they have. There's a little thing encrypted there before they send it anywhere. Um, and all that would have solved this problem. But uh, the PCI TSS didn't require that. Uh, the credit card people didn't require that. And they do require it for the for the uh, separate units that you scan, but not the cash register. Okay, so so if they did if they did require it, and the question is why didn't they require it? Um, all right, three digit dial of service attack might be a little hard. This guy is a guy I watched. Sad there, doesn't he? <laughs> I'm so sad. Security so bad. <laughs> but uh, you know, he's the one who uh, he runs a uh, a blog, and he reports every major hack before any. In fact, a lot of times the companies, they stopped doubting them and they started saying, oh no, perhaps the reporting is so deadly. So, uh, he reported Kmart just recently. He reported uh, Demon Argus, Target, a uh, Home Depot. He's the one that did all those reports before before they did. And, and so they don't, uh, the problem is that with hacking attempts, you don't even know you've been hacked. And a lot of times companies don't. And so all of a sudden, uh, your credit cards are being used in Eastern Europe. He has contacts of people who contact him, blog, bloggers who know to send him information, and they just say, looks like people who use the credit card at Target have uh, also been hacked in Eastern Europe, have, have a duplicate card issue. I don't get 50 of those, and all of them have Target in common, which they I think Target's been hacked. Um, and, uh, that, and, and so he, he really is good at what he does. And, and, and uh, all all fairness to Target, too, uh, they're probably the most, like, Home Depot got hacked. It's a larger hack, right? Is anyone even so? So anyway, now, we're going to go for a little bit in the past. Um, before Target, the biggest hack was uh, TJ Maxx in terms of number of credit card breaches. Okay, um, the reason you want to bring this up is because uh, there's a credit card organization called PCI, Payment Card Industry, DSS, or I forget what it is. But uh, 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 the DSS is the uh, security standards. That's what the DSS stands for. Uh, uh, data security standards is what <coughs> DSS stands for. And they, the DSS is, is a list of things you have to do. Well, they sent someone in, consultants in, to TJ Maxx uh, from the Payment Card Industry. And they certify, these are trained, not just like me going and going, doing certify, these are trained by the payment card industry to certify companies. TJ Maxx was certified as protected. Okay, now there was some issue, did they lie? Were they just wrong? So they said that, that I, I, the way I certify you a lot of times, I ask you questions, did you do this, did you do that? And, and, uh, and if you say yes and you didn't, then that's a lie. What happened was they, they uh, Ignored evidence for years that they were hacked. Oh, we're not hacked. It's like you know, it's it's a uh, uh, you know, we're not really hacked, and, and they ended up losing a lot of uh, customers' data, and they ended up uh, finally, finally, someone said, "You got to stop doing what you're doing." It was that TJX's the name of the company. TJ Maxx was the store. You know, get the Max phone. Max, you. So, so, but. Uh, that's right here. That's the <laughs> So that's, uh, that's uh, right there is uh, uh, the DSS ended up investigating that and then recertifying them. So you had a new crew who came back and said, you were never certified. It's like uh, uh, 